Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, welcome on the Paris Motor Show. Welcome at Audi Sport. If you recognize the driver in this car, I would say it's a special guest here. It's Alan McNish. He's in the front here. Alan, get up, give him a hand. He was three times the winner in Le Mans and uh, he enjoyed, I think, this car very, very much. Over there, and in the picture behind me, you can see the PB18 e-tron that was unveiled at the Pebble Beach show. It's a radical vision of a future high-performance sports car. For this concept, we started with a blank sheet of paper and could tap into the advantages of an electric car from the very, very beginning. In the cabin, we can extend the inner monocoque over the entire width of this vehicle. There is no center uh, channel, a tunnel in the way. The battery unit with power electronics is located essentially at the vehicle center of mass in front of the rear axle. With the PB18 e-tron, we are exploring the opposite pole of autonomous driving and digital services with sketching an electric powered, high performance sports car of the future. In this future world, we believe that people will again seek for exactly this opposite pole. People seek for level zero, they seek for fun, thrill and excitement. Electric mobility <clears throat> is for us at Audi Sport one of our main strategic pillars we are working on. Already in November at the Auto Show in, in LA, we will present an emotional concept of a first fully electric model at Audi Sport, the so-called e-tron GT. It will be a four-seater coupe arriving already in 2020. And I can assure you already today that this car will not be only the electric model of Audi Sport, not the only one, there will come a lot more of those cars. We are very proud that the e-tron GT will also be built at our manufacturer where we built already the Audi R8. This extremely flexible factory allows us to build further models simultaneously. Already today, we are using this flexibility to build race cars and series production models on the same production and assembly line. For the very first time, we will introduce one of our R8 race cars ahead of the series production models today. Nevertheless, of course, the series production models always benefits from our years of experience in motorsport. Born on the track, built for the road. With the second R8 generation, we achieved for the first time that both models have been developed simultaneously. The result, the R8 LMS GT3 and the R8 series models share 50% of common parts. The biggest part, of course, is the heart of our car, is the V12, V10, naturally aspirated engine. From our point of view, this engine is also for the future, the perfect match for our sporty ambassador, the Audi R8. Ladies and gentlemen, you will see the future of Audi Sport, whether gas or electric, will always get your heart racing. And now, please welcome Chris Reinke, Audi Sport Customer Racing, who is responsible for the development of this car. Chris, the stage is yours. Well, thank you, Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome also from my side, bonjour. The Audi R8 LMS GT3 is a flagship of our program. Of the three race cars we have within our portfolio that our customers can race all around the world, which we celebrate its 10th anniversary this very year. In total, 
we have sold more than 500 race cars all around the world. In the addition to the GT3 car, where you see the newest breed out there, we have the Audi R8 LMS GT4, which runs very successful here in France, uh, but also in various countries and, of course, in North America. We have an entry-level touring car, the Audi RS LMS, the RS3 LMS, which we introduced to the public two years ago at this very stage. And now you've just witnessed the unveiling of the new Audi R8 LMS GT3. The second generation of the road car and the race car have been on the market since 2015. The GT3 category is a very competitive race category with 13 manufacturers being involved, including the best sports car brand of the world, Japan, Great Britain, Italy, Germany, you can all count them in. Today, we present the evolution of this extremely successful race car that has won many big 12-hour, 24-hour races, national and international series. Now, what did we change? We had one core aim that we followed through the complete development to enhance the benefits for our customers. So we have focused on three areas. First of all, the aerodynamics, the cooling, and the durability. Isn't the new front absolutely fascinating? The new aerodynamic allows an even more consistent driving in various conditions. No matter if you brake, accelerate, corner with the car, you run it off a stable aerodynamic platform in the hands also of our gentleman and amateur clientele. Another aspect that has been changed or optimized is the improved cooling of the rear axle. The brake ducts are of different kinds that we bring less heat into the tires once again to stabilize the platform in the rear to make it easier to drive for our customers. And when it comes to customers, cost is always a big issue. So durability, increasing the service intervals on the gearbox, on the clutch will help a lot to further reduce the running cost and therefore increase the desirability for our customers. Talking about budgets, the car is on sale straight away from now on for 398,000 euro plus tax. The first cars will be delivered into the hands of our customers already in November uh, to go testing to prepare for the next season. We expect homologation by the FIA by the end of the year so that we can go racing with the new vehicle from January 2019 onwards. But we're not just looking at 2019. We also have a few more races to come in 2018. There will be the eight hours of California. There will be the GT3 World Cup in Macau to name only two. But together with our customers, we are looking forward to the next season with our new contender to continue the success story of the Audi R8 LMS GT3. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention. Feel free to join us on the stage for further question on the desirable object. Thank you.